Okay, welcome to the next instalment of exciting rocker switch wiring. What I wanted to do was have an LED light bar illuminated switch. Now I've just slaved it with a little tiny uh, LED light for now. I really wanted to um, to have this illuminate the LED section when I switch the light on. You can have this lower light come on with the dashboard lights. I've, um, to be honest, been too lazy to pick the dashboard apart, so I've wired it like this so that when we switch it on, the LED lights are illuminated and you blind yourself. So imagine this is your car. What I, um, I did was put in this extra uh, fuse section. You don't necessarily need to do that. You could just connect it to positive and negative as required. I used a relay as well, just a standard relay. So, should you wish to have the little blue light at the bottom illuminate when you turn the dash lights on, you simply need to do a jumper cable from these two, the negative, because this pin here in the top right, which you can see is pin seven, that is the negative for the bottom light. And then you feed the power from the dashboard lights to pin six there. So when you turn your dashboard lights on, this bottom light here will illuminate. So it's quite simple really. You have a negative, which would go to the negative on the battery. You have power in into terminal three, which goes to the positive. And then you're switched out to your accessory, which is here, which is pin three. So in this case, I've used a relay. It was a pre-wired relay. So I scavenged the power from both. So this is why I copied blue. So on here we have pin 30, which is positive, so connect that to the positive side of your battery, also connected to pin 3 on your switch. Then obviously earth and earth jumped here if you want the other light. And then connect the yellow from the relay to the positive of your light. You can then ground the light wherever required or run it back to the battery. I helpfully used a red cable as I'd already got it. So there we go, it's quite a simple circuit actually, it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be once I worked it out. And uh, I do like these these rocker switches, I just got these off Amazon, but they seem quite good quality and uh, they illuminate nicely. That suits my uh, my OCD. And again, these little lights, them MIC tuning, I've, I've got a couple of these and I've been really pleased with them, the quality seems quite good. I don't know how long they last, but um, they seem pretty bright and well made, again, just off Amazon. And interestingly, this is quite a nice circuit. If you imagine if a fuse blows, I can pull this out. It, uh, it will then illuminate when the circuit fails. There, so I've tried to switch the switch on and uh, when there's load on the circuit. So it makes it very simple then for uh, deciding which fuse is blown. Quite good. Okay, so hopefully this is helping somebody really. I will just drag this out so you can have another look. You don't need this red wire. This central wire 87a you can cut that off if you wish so there's only actually four connections you need to make 